Deborah Johnson has lived in Williamsburg for 40 years and says she would have never known the DNR was harvesting trees until she saw it near her backyard. Had they not tagged my trees, I would know nothing. You know, I really wouldn't know anything about it. So um, I've been here 40 years and, and it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my neighbors. And so we just want to know what's going to, what's going to take place. And according to the Department of Natural Resources, what's going on is a well thought out plan to actually improve the forest around the Vasa. Um, our management plan for that area is to try to move uh, the forest into more of a, a longer lived species, you know, the red and white pine and oak, um, something that would be uh, less Im impactful for the recreation. They've already cut down 600 acres of trees and only have 200 acres left. But now they're getting closer to neighborhoods so they understand the concern from residents. The forest will respond um, and, it, it, you know, and, and new trees will regenerate and, and grow in those spaces that are, that are created. But residents still aren't sold on the plan. It affects the sound, it affects the climate, um, you know, winds blow in and take out other trees when the other tree stands are gone. Wildlife, um, it'll affect morel mushroom hunting. Uh, it, it pretty much affects everything and so I just want to know uh, what's what exactly is going to take place and, and what we need to prepare ourselves for. In Grand Traverse County, Mara Thompson for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.